Hey, what's up guys? We're here for day two of the teardown. Uh, we got a lot to do today. We're gonna take the exhaust off. Work on getting the drive shaft out. Um, we gotta get the rear diff out, start draining fluids. We gotta drain the transmission fluid. I'm also doing an oil change at the same time. So, we got a whole lot of work to do, so let's get started. Alright, so we got the exhaust off. Um, I just left it all in one piece and just took the two 14 mil bolts out there. Um, let's see. We also drained the transmission and <clears throat> all this black metal stuff came out of it. Um, so I'm pretty sure this is clutch pack material and why it's been slipping so much. Um, <laughs> but it was pretty gross. Um, this fluid was pretty much brand new. Like I only had it for maybe 2,000 miles and it was totally black. Um, we took apart one of the new hubs um, and we figured out we're gonna have a hell of a time trying to get the new studs in here because um, <clears throat> even once we take the e-brake apart there's not really any space to put the extended studs in the back so we might have to actually take the wheel bearing apart uh, to get the new studs in so that's not gonna be fun but um, we'll see how it goes, I guess. So, I had to show you guys this, because this is just absolutely insane. My rear main seal is leaking so bad that my entire exhaust, from the downpipe all the way to the fucking <laughs> differential in the back, is covered in oil. The whole transmission tunnel is just soaked, as you can see. It's just absolutely insane. <laughs> I've never seen that happen before. And I was under this thing not too long ago and it wasn't this bad. So, yeah, it's definitely trying to change that seal. So, I'm going to work on getting this drive shaft out. So, we just got a couple 14 mil bolts here in the carrier bearing. Um, there's nothing to take out of the transmission. The output shaft just slides right out. And then I got to take this cover off. So, there's six 14 mil bolts. Um, I might have to put a wrench on some of them if those lock washers, I mean those uh, weld nuts aren't, you know, secure anymore. And then there's a bunch of 12 mil bolts um, that hold the drive shaft, the differential. Um, and then we just pop it off. So I'm going to get started on that. So you think with all the oil there on these things, it wouldn't be on there very tight. Yeah, that's not too bad. I need some safety goggles. Just got shit all on my face. All right. All right. Set that over there. And now we can get to uh, these 12 mil bolts here. Uh, we pretty much have to just use a wrench to get them off. Um, not even worth trying to get a socket on it. Now I'm just gonna get these off. Put the light on it. These are a whole lot easier to get off. Um, my drive shaft that I got for the, from the WRX um, didn't actually come with one of these bushings, so I'm gonna have to use one from this one. Luckily, they're the same. But look how freaking disgusting it is under here. This is insane so much oil. I didn't think this through. I took the axles and hubs off before I took the drive shaft off so I had no way <laughs> to hold the drive shaft still to get this out of here. So actually what I'm gonna do is I grab the light here. I'm just gonna whoops I'm just gonna cram this 14 wrench into the U-joint here and then when it uh, it rotates around it'll just stop it right there. And then I can crack these these are bolts that go through. These, this side, can, it'll kind of hold itself still. And you can just crack the, the nuts off on the other side. Got those out. So, whoops. Let's finish taking these out and then pull this thing off. Out, and then that 
comes off, and then we just slide this out of the transmission. And fluid goes everywhere. So try to get that on the cardboard, but kind of missed. So there we have it. So now we can get to the lower half of the shift linkage. Um, because we have to unbolt the, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's the, it's basically the shift selector on the side of the auto. Um, so we got to unbolt that and undo the cable so we can get the rest of the, this is the only thing holding my shifter in place right now is this cable. So we get that off. Um, and I still have to get my downpipe off, it's in the way, obviously. I just popped this thing out here. Um, it was pretty easy, you just, I just took this bolt and basically pressed it through here to pop the other the other side of it off like that and then I can pop one of these into my new drive shaft over there alright so this diff is also com unbelievable how disgusting it is um, you can see it still has the 3.9 ratio tag on it but <laughs> like these are supposed to be bolts right there like this is so caked and stuff like I'm gonna have to scrape these just to get look at that what the fuck oh. that's this is ridiculous yeah so I'm gonna do some scraping so I can get to these bolts I think these are whoops I, I almost dropped it on my face I think these are 19 no so maybe they're 16 they look like 16s. I don't know. Maybe a 17. Well, I'm going to grab some different sockets and try, try that out. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. This is bad. Look at that. Oh my god. All right, so I broke these free. There's two 17s, so just take those out, and then we got some more right here that are also 17s. There's four of them, um, and then we can just drop the diff out. These four off, so now there's four more on the outside right here that are holding this bracket on. So I'm gonna take the back two off first, and then probably take this one off and leave this one on, and then I'll support myself underneath it and pull it out. that shit anymore there so these things right here are a huge pain in the ass they're bolted together so you have to slide them all the way out of the diff before it'll actually come out so all right so I got it out you can't you couldn't really see in the in the video I'll be pulling it out but I just kind of pulled it out towards the the front of the car and it slid right out but so you can see this one is just covered in more grease than I've ever seen. Um, so it's probably going to get thrown away. I won't take the cardboard with it. Alright, down pipes out. So I'm going to take these radiator fans out so we can have some space here to turn the motor over a little bit. Um, Force is taking bell housing bolts out. Um, we're gonna have to turn the motor over slightly to get to the uh, each one of the flex plate bolts in the back. All right, fans are out, starter's out. We're just uh, working on some of the lower bell housing bolts. And we gotta disconnect a few more things. Good. Ready? No. I 
can't get it past this. Go this way just to the air. Okay, too far. Go back that way a little. All right, so this right here is the shift selector, or uh, Pringle, or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um, so we got to disconnect it from here, is a little cotter pin, and take the cable off. It's already in the park position, which is all the way back, um, all the way forward it would be first. Um, so we need to also disconnect the cable here, and then I can take the rest of my uh, shift linkage out. I need to disconnect these bolts right here from that bracket that holds the shift cable on. Um, and then the transmission's ready to come out. Alright, he's just taking the speed sensor out right now. And we already got the transmission jack in place. I cut the uh, tranny cooler lines because I'm, I'm taking the whole thing out, all the hard lines and everything. So. At this point, we should be able to separate it pretty soon. So there's a big 19 mil bolt that holds on the, the Prindle to the uh, side of the transmission. And then there's a couple, there's two, uh, now it's three uh, 8 mil bolts that actually bolt it around the edges. Um, and then we're just gonna leave the wire attached and leave it in the park position, which is all the way back. We'll probably just tuck it up or, or underneath this AC stuff on this side. Can I have the flashlight? So there's one big ass connector right here that goes uh, to the transmission that we had to unplug. With this one we're leaving in because that's um, that's where the Prindle is. Um, and at this point we should be able to unbolt the subframe and see if we can slide it out. All right, so we uh, got the transmission out. It's, uh, it took a lot of finessing to get these bottom studs to slide off. Um, and also have to be careful because the, the dipstick on the back runs into the back of the firewall. So instead of slowly kind of shoehorn it out of there. Um, it's also really front heavy because that torque converter is full of, full of fluid. So now we're going to take it off of the transmission jack, put it on the ground so we can slide it out on this cardboard. All right, so we got it all the way out. Luckily, we had enough room to drag it out. Um, this is one of our old five speeds. Um, you can kind of see the size comparison between this freaking automatic yeah, and this five speed. See how I can pick that up? This yeah, thing this is fucking heavy. Like, I can't even pick up the front of it. Yeah, and, it's and still, it doesn't have any fluid in it either. Yeah. So, well, that one doesn't either, but it's still, like, you, it's almost twice the size. It's pretty insane. But uh, we're going to leave it here for tonight. Um, pretty much everything's out. We got the shifter out too. So now we just got to do a lot of cleaning, put the clutch in, and all that fun stuff. So if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching.